Hello, Dog Bed Sit Blogger here. And uh, at the moment, I'm decluttering my room and I found something lurking in the corner that will take you back to the days before Facebook, before MySpace, before the internet was widely available. <laughs> So here you have it. This is an arc of information, of uh, fanzines and demo tapes. Let me uh, arrange them in a more so pleasing manner. So here we have it. Um, an extensive collection of my uh, fanzines, which basically back in the day Fanzines were like the MySpace of the pre-internet world. There are lots of different fanzines. I got into fanzines from uh, Skate Muties from the Fifth Dimension, which is a fantastic uh, skate fanzine. Let's have a look. Chaos and Rude Behaviour. And all sorts of stuff, all about skateboards and punk music. Oh, and a letter for me there from Bear Hackenbush. Who it turns out a friend of mine might have snogged, but she never admits that. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, it was very in inspired me, which inspired me to create my own fanzine called Misspelt Youth. When I say create my own fanzine called Misspelt Youth, there was one fanzine I did before this called uh, um, The Return of the Lolo Ball Heads. I'm not sure I've got any copies of that, and I think we did two copies of that. This is my first solo fanzine. Uh, there you go, it's got interviews with Scum of Toy Town, uh, Ghoul Soil. <laughs> Which is uh, stuff to do with the ceramic hobs. Shooty's Groove, who are a pretty good rap funk group from the Bronx, New York. Uh, who Flung, who, um, Dave, who plays the keyboards in the Las Vegas Mermaids and the Large Veiny Members, was a member of. And the Fly Medallions. Um, to be honest, I think it was the last interview they did before the... Uh, uh, before they had a bit of a car crash. Um, but this is my fanzine. Very heavily the idea was taken from... Um, from, you know, the, the layout was kind of taken from Escape Muties from the Fifth Dimension. But then they borrowed it from someone else. Nothing is original. Um, and there's a whole bunch of interesting things. You know, it was a very DIY, user-led um, uh, phenomenon. All, all these were passing around, being passed in the post from one another. Um, a really good one that I used to really enjoy it is this one called Dregs. And uh, it was very user orientated. Uh, you'd send uh, your top five in and it would get in there. And there are loads of stories about um, about hitchhiking and, you know, stuff like that. My favourite punk zine was this one, Chemical Warfare. It had a nice um, amount of punk and um, and politics in it which is quite good um, another favorite fanzine of mine just a minute sorry head in shot there was this one called uh, DDDD or Daffer Down Dilly brilliant it was like you know one of the last ones that I found which has still had the old good old-fashioned photocopied kind of style oh yeah an interview of the ceramic hobs there Check annotation to see the ceramic hobs in my videos. Um, great, you know, and really good humour. And this guy, he, you know, he really did do a monthly video. Um, another favourite of mine was this 
the original sin which was a great little fanzine of all different sorts of music and they, i think he was from uh belgium the guy uh who uh, who put this together didder i think was his name from what i remember uh, loads of interviews and reviews and stuff uh, great stuff oh this is uh, this is quite good Arnie the Anarchist magazine it was a cartoon comic you know it also included comics of fanzines you got Arnie the Anarchist there a great little um, cartoon and I've seen the guy who's doing this has gone on to do I've seen his cartoons in The Guardian and The Observer. Um, Escape Meaties from the Fifth Dimension eventually evolved into Bugs and Drugs. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, these are like the, the magazines that I really like. And it wasn't only sort of like small punk rock DIY people that had fanzines. There you go. This is part. I was part of the uh, um, the Reeves and Mortimer fan club, and uh, that's a couple of the fanzines that I got from them. There you go. The Reeves and Mortimer fan club. That's just quite good. And also, what else I've got? Uh, these. Are the fanzines from Therapy? They were called the Funny Farm. Quite nicely put together. Obviously, they had they had money behind them. They weren't they weren't about the photocopy thing. And even a Christmas card from them. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Ho ho ho. So uh, yeah, I better put these away and um, let me show you. You're probably wondering. Yeah, that's all the text that you get on. Um, on my space where is the sound right just a minute there you go these are all loads of cassettes people used to exchange cassettes you know, scum of toy town demo tape there these ones here these remind me of early days of getting out of your town and you'd go to the local big town um, remember there was a shop in Guildford called East West that um, used to have stacks and stacks of bootleg tapes and they'd all look like this coloured thing with it printed on the side or you'd go to Camden Town and there'd be loads uh, let's see I'm pretty sure I saw one that was from Camden what's that one? Ah, Orange Sunshine again more ceramic hobs connections there but there's loads of these. I, I, I did thin out my, my cassettes a while back. Because, uh, you know, the various friends got to know. You used to exchange ex cassettes with. Make your own covers to them and stuff. Uh, defecators. Oh, yeah. Pumps finest. Anyway, um, I better get on with tidying my room. I've now wasted far too much time making a big mess on my bed with fanzines and uh, making this video so I should really get on with the work uh, nice chatting with you and just remember there wasn't always the internet